Speak up English, the key to success. Hey there, English learners. Welcome back to Speak Up English Conversations, where we turn everyday talk into powerful learning opportunities. Get ready to immerse yourself in real-life English dialogues covering a variety of topics. In each session, we'll dive deep into daily conversations, exploring different topics that matter to you. From casual chit-chat to practical discussions, we've got it all covered. But here's the best part. As you tune in, you're not just listening, you're actively learning. You'll pick up new vocabulary, enhance your listening skills, and most importantly, boost your speaking confidence. So, are you ready to embark on this language journey with us? Let's dive into today's conversation and unleash the English speaker within you. Without further ado, let's get started. Hey, Emily. Remember our school days? Those were some crazy times, weren't they? Oh, absolutely, Jack. I can't believe it's been so long since we graduated. It feels like just yesterday we were sneaking out of class to grab snacks from the vending machine. Ha, ha yeah. And what about that time we convinced Mr. Thompson that we needed a study break every Friday afternoon? Oh. I'll never forget that. We managed to turn it into a weekly pizza party without him suspecting a thing. Those were the days. Would you know what I missed the most? The epic dodgeball tournaments we used to have during recess. Oh, definitely. Those games got intense. I remember you always dodging like a ninja while I tried to hide behind the bleachers. And who could forget the infamous prank wars? We pulled off some pretty legendary pranks back then. Oh, like the time we filled the principal's office with balloons on April Fool's Day? Classic. Ha, ha, yeah. I don't think he ever found out it was us. But hey, all those shenanigans taught us some valuable life lessons, right? Absolutely. We learned how to think on our feet, work as a team, and... Most importantly, never take ourselves too seriously. Exactly. And those skills have come in handy more times than I can count. So, here's to the memories we made and the lessons we learned during our school days. Cheers to that, Jack. Let's never forget the good times we shared and the friendships we formed. Agreed, Emily. Here's to us, forever young at heart. Cheers. You know, Emily, thinking about our school days always brings back memories of our English class. Remember how Mr. Smith used to make us do those pronunciation drills? Oh, yeah. Those tongue twisters were a challenge, but they really helped improve our pronunciation. Like she sells seashells by the seashore. Ha, ha yeah. And let's not forget the endless grammar exercises. I think I can still hear Mr. Smith saying, No, Jack, it's not I seen, it's I saw. Oh, 
I remember that too well. But hey, all those grammar lessons paid off. We can now speak English fluently without embarrassing ourselves. Definitely. And I'm grateful for all the writing assignments too. Remember when we had to write those creative stories? They really sparked our imagination. Oh, absolutely. I still have some of those stories tucked away somewhere. It's amazing how much our writing skills improved over the years. And let's not forget about the debates we had in English class. They really taught us how to express our opinions confidently and respectfully. Oh, those were some lively discussions, weren't they? But they definitely helped us become more articulate and persuasive in our arguments. Absolutely. English class wasn't just about learning a language, it was about developing essential communication skills that we use every day. Totally. And looking back, I'm grateful for all the hard work we put in. It's made us better communicators and, dare I say, better people. Couldn't agree more, Emily. So, here's to Mr. Smith and all the other teachers who helped us along the way. Cheers to that, Jack. They may have pushed us hard, but it was all worth it in the end. Indeed. Here's to lifelong learning and the power of English. Cheers. So, Emily, do you remember the time we tried to organize a school-wide talent show? Oh, how could I forget? It was chaos. Everyone wanted to participate, but no one knew what they were doing. Yeah, we had singers, dancers, even a few amateur magicians. It was quite the eclectic mix of talents. And let's not forget about the infamous lip sync battle between Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Smith. Oh, that was hilarious. I still can't believe they pulled off those moves without cracking up. And what about the time we staged that epic food fight in the cafeteria? Ah, yes, the great food fight of 09. I think we're still finding bits of mashed potatoes and gravy in the strangest places. It was messy, but it was worth it for the memories. Those were the days when we didn't have a care in the world. Definitely. It's funny how looking back on those moments now brings such a big smile to our faces. Yeah, it's like no matter where life takes us, we'll always have those memories to cherish. Absolutely. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll have kids of our own, and we can share these stories with them. That would be amazing. They'll probably think we're exaggerating, though. Haha, <laughs> yeah, but that's the beauty of it. We'll have lived through those crazy times together, and no one can take that away from us. Cheers to that, Jack. 
to the memories we've made and the adventures still to come. Cheers, Emily. Here's to us, forever young at heart. Forever young at heart.